They are retired members of our community, single moms, grandparents, and everything in between. School bus drivers are more than just someone behind the wheel. They are invested in your child's future, but because of the growing job market, filling those shifts have become a growing challenge. And this is your bus 157. 157, this is okay, her. Okay, let's go. Lily drives for the Brown Bus Company in Napa. She does it so she can continue going to school to further her education. Like, I'm not just your school bus driver. I can be more than that. What Lily means is she gets to know the students on a personal level, and they get to know her. Yeah, especially when it comes to, like, uh, bullying. Um, you definitely have to... I think as a school bus driver, you have to let them know that it's a matter that you're willing to take care of. So the question is, how do you entice people to come out and apply for these jobs to drive school buses? One way we, we try to provide a great environment to work at. We do recruiting bonuses like a lot of companies do. We try to stay competitive with our pay rate. Brent Carpenter has been with the Brown Bus Company long enough to see the changes in the Treasure Valley. Going into the 2018-19 school year, they have had a driver need of about 40 drivers. Hiring drivers like Lily, who are committed to these kids, is so important to Carpenter. In fact, I was having a driver this morning, having a conversation with her, and she's been with us 17 years, and she was talking about that very thing, that she knows the kids, they know her, she knows what's going on. Her kids even went to the school that she services. So if you have ever thought about it, but wasn't quite sure, take this advice from Lily. They do training, and you get paid to do your training as well, so that's also a big plus. Um, and the one thing I can say is, you wouldn't believe how much easier it is to drive a school bus in an actual tiny car. Don Nelson, six on your side.